Hi and welcome to A World of Words. I'm Vanessa and today I'm going to be doing the bookmark book tag. So I was tagged a while ago by Vanessa from Paper Fairy and I don't know why it's taken me so long to do this tag. There have just been other videos that I guess I felt like I needed to get up sooner but I'm doing the tag now and if I'm wearing the same thing as I'm wearing in some other videos, that's because I'm filming it on the same day. But thank you so much Vanessa for tagging me, I really appreciate it, and I will link her video as well as the creator's video in the description below. So let's get to the questions. The first one is the receipt. What is the last book you got from the library or from the bookstore that might still have the receipt in it? Well, actually the last time I bought books it was from Amazon.com and I bought like five books. But um, one of those books was Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I'm so happy with this purchase because this book was amazing and it's beautiful. Notebook Paper. A book that was played at the beginning but got better later on. Uh, the original creator of this video she folded her notebook paper in a way that turned it into a kind of cool looking bookmark so if you want to see that you can check out her video um, but I would say just the Throne of Glass series um, not Queen of Shadows specifically but just the Throne of Glass series um, it wasn't plain at the beginning but it definitely keeps getting more amazing as the series progresses. Dog ear or post-it tagged? A favorite quote from a book that you tagged or tabbed. Lady Midnight. I'm a shadow hunter. Quip fast, die young. <laughs> Love that line. I'm going to skip question four because I don't have an answer for it. Okay, I forgot to grab the book before I started filming and I nearly knocked over everything in the process of trying to get the book because it was still clipped to my microphone. So <sighs> the highlighted or underlined. A book that you highlighted or underlined that you used in class but that wasn't a textbook. It would be Dragonflight by Anne McCaffrey because I thought I highlighted this. Gotta be at least one highlighted section. No? It's just. There, it's highlighted. I guess I didn't want to seriously highlight this book because I actually liked it a lot. But I had to write an essay for it, so there are highlight marks in this book. I have better examples. I think some of my Shakespeare books are more highlighted. But those are in a box under my bed and I'm not even going to... Who knows what would happen if I tried to get to those because I nearly knocked everything over trying to get to this. The pop culture bookmark. I have Damon. That's kind of... I have Katniss. And yes, there is a sticker because there's a minion and I thought it would keep her company. And I have Damon. And his bookmark has a heart on it. Choose a favorite character to be on a bookmark. That would be Isabel Lightwood. And look, I made a bookmark with her on it. The postcard. A good travel book. At first I didn't have an answer for this, but then I just came up with one as I was collecting books to be in this tag. I think Furthermore by Tahara Mafi would be a really good travel book because it's not too long and it's very adventurous and I feel like like really fun and easy to get into. It's just very like whimsical and adventurous and it'd be kind of a fun book to read while you're traveling because Alice does a lot of traveling and is on an adventure herself when she is in this book. An old photograph of you. A book so much you like that you wouldn't let it go. That you won't let it go. I don't think I've ever used a photograph of myself as a bookmark. 
looks like a Harry Potter bookmark I made that came off of like a daily calendar and I kept the holographic side. These are from two different years because it's cool. <laughs> I guess that does not a photograph of me but I still held on to this so I guess it kind of counts. <laughs> I did the theme of Harry Potter. This poor book that's falling apart. Uh, yeah, I've had this poor thing for a very long time and I'm going to buy a replacement because I, if I read this book one more time I think it's going to actually fall apart. But I don't think I'll ever be able to actually throw this one away because I read it so many times and it's such a beloved book. <laughs> the Flower Press Bookmark. A book with a beautiful cover. I don't have a flower press bookmark to show you. Now I'm kind of sad about that. But the ruby red because it's just so swirly. The buck bookmark. A book that you might have spent more than expected on it. I'd say the like $27 new release of Harry Potter books were pretty expensive. I mean, I had to have them as soon as they came out because that's just what we did. But $27 is a lot for a kid or a teenager. <laughs> the Band-Aid bookmark. A book that has a healing or calming effect on you. The Mediator series. It always just makes me so happy. And finally, question 13 is what is your favorite bookmark? This one is so much fun because there's a little bit of a story behind it. Basically, they released the new covers for The Mortal Instruments and The Infernal Devices, and I really love those covers, but I just don't have the money to rebuy the entire series, both series, just to get the new covers, even though the new covers are really, really cool. So, instead, I made a bookmark collection of all the new covers. So I have Clary. And on the back it is some graphic I found online of all the covers and I just made it the right color so that it matched bookmark case. I made an angel rune bead thing for him on his tassel. Alec. And on his tassel there are little arrows. I showed you Isabel and she just has some sparkles on her tassel. And that's all I did for the mortal instruments. I just did four and then I did the Infernal Devices. I have Jem. And he has some musical notes on his tassel. I have Tessa, of course. And she has a little angel on her tassel. To represent the Clockwork Angel. And then I have Will Herondale. And on his little tassel I have a little book charm that I actually made a little book charm. So yeah, these guys are definitely my favorite bookmarks because I'm super proud of them and they took me like several days to put together. So that is it for the bookmark book tag. Again, thank you Vanessa for tagging me and please let me know which of my bookmarks is your favorite. <laughs> and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I upload new videos on Mondays and every other Friday plus the occasional surprise video. So please subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!